such a huge mood. Yeah. See, the colour would look amazing with your hair. The array of shoes we have. Really nice colour. I love the one shoulder. Yeah, perfect. And also, it's got a big cinched waist. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining today. I'm Jess, Beauty Director at Vogue, and I just love for you, Madeline, and for you, Clemmie, to introduce yourselves. So I'm Madeline. I'm a nutritional therapist and food blogger. Have written a few books, been How blogging many books? Away. Don't Three. be modest. Three <laughs> books. So I'm Clemmie. I'm also an author. Just published my second book. I'm in very good company <laughs> with you two as authors. <laughs> So I just wanted for us to just have a nice chat, basically. One of the whole things of wellness is, is self-care, looking after yourself, but we probably don't have masses of time within which to do it. Do you ever do any sort of pampering things for yourself? Do you like to do treatments at home? I'm quite partial to face mask, hair, like I'm a beauty editor, so yeah. I feel like <laughs> I have like face mask, hair removal at home with my Philips Lumea. I made my husband do one with me. Did you? Actually, he'll be so annoyed that I'm even saying this. <laughs> I made him do some IPL at home in front of like something on Netflix and I'm like if you could be looking at yourselves it's just ridiculous. But it's amazing how good it makes you feel like yeah. just doing that just small moment for yourself mm. you're like oh, I feel so good. Yeah <laughs> for me it's just having a bit of freedom in my day to to not feel so time bound. Making minimal effort but actually almost having the most fun. Just got to save time where you can. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you manage stress? Because I think stress is such a major thing for people, right? So we live um, on the coast, mm. and so I've started running again. And just running with music along the beach, mm. I just feel like I've done something for myself. Yeah. I find I'm just more focused when I then get down to, like, emails. Yeah. Absolutely. I think exercise in the morning is the way to go. Yeah. Can we talk about sleep? Because oh. I think so much of how you feel is based on how much sleep you've had. I need to get one of these clocks. That's the only thing I use oh, my... the light clock. Yes. Oh, yes. yes, I've got one of them. Have you? Have you? You've got the whole kit. Yeah. yeah. You're like the sleep expert. I want to come I, sleep I, over I, your house. <laughs> can we do I'm a not, I've had, Yeah, I've had the Philips clock. I sleep so much deeper. I feel way more refreshed. And then your phone can just be downstairs and you forget about it for 12 hours. Yeah. I was reading a really worrying statistic, which most couples touch their phone first before they touch each other in the morning. So my thing is, if I'm in bed by 10.30, not pick up my phone so I've just got really back into reading again which feels like such a luxury yeah you're three or four pages in and you feel that heaviness and then you just sink into your pillow and go yeah. to sleep do you guys have like a morning beauty routine so I'll do like a really big cleanse and mm. use the Philips eye energizer attachment just oh, because it's... on nights when you haven't slept the oh, puff yeah. oh is like God. out of control the puff I feel like your eyes are like this big <laughs> when you wake up you guys tried the Visipure massage tool we're yeah, getting ready I right but a bit of massage there's also an anti-pollution head because I work in central London and you literally if you use it to cleanse the face, you just feel like you've taken the day off. It's so nice if you've been wearing heavy makeup for work or something. Mm. I'd you love just feel like yeah. even when you rub your eyes, like oh yeah, I haven't got mascara mm. on. Yeah. Just having moments to let your skin be itself is really nice. Love just being able to have like a natural day. I think there's something quite liberating about that. Everyone has a different meaning of what wellness means to them. So I think it's really nice just chatting and learning from each other. Nothing was off limits. We talked about things that we just feel quite passionate about as women. Um, and we also talked a lot about well-being because it's just really important to all of us. Making sure you eat well, um, sleep well, and just sometimes carving out 10 minutes in your day for you just to remember who you are. <laughs>